and welcome. I'm Pete Thorne. Today we're going to look at two great pedals from the folks at the Big Joe Stomp Box Company. The blue one here is called the Vintage Tube Overdrive, and this gray pedal is the Hard Tube Overdrive. So I used the Hard Tube Overdrive on all the uh, rhythm guitars at the beginning of the video, and I love that tone I got with my Les Paul. I was just playing in front of the clean channel on my PT100 amp, and used this for that big, fat, searing rock crunch, and uh, it, it sounds killer, I think. So, um, you know, if you've got a clean amp, and you really need to rock with authority, this is a great uh, choice. It's got a tunable mids control, so you can scoop or uh, boost mids. I was scooping out the mids a little bit to get that, that awesome, thick kind of crunch sound, but if you want to boost up the mids for solos or something like that, you can do that too, so we'll look at that in a little bit. And the Vintage Tube Overdrive, this is much more of a, a, a kind of warm, creamy, uh, singing, sustain kind of pedal, uh, more vintage in tone. Uh, I love it uh, both in front of a clean sound and also to boost a, a dirty tone over the top into lead territory. So say you got a nice rhythm crunch going and then you need some more sustain for leads, this is a good choice. So, uh, alright, let's get into it a little bit further and check out these pedals, the Vintage Tube and Hard Tube Overdrive from Big Joe Stumpbox Company. Okay, so let's start off with the Vintage Tube. You've got controls here for presence, drive, output, and then a two position switch that's labeled shape. When it's in its lower position, you've got more lows, raise it up, it attenuates lows and tightens things up a little bit. The presence control is really nice on this pedal. Um, nice variation on a theme, I don't think of I can't think of any other overdrives that have a presence control instead of a tone control. Uh, the presence control seems to be uh, completely uh, out of the circuit and not affect the tone when you turn it all the way down. And then as you raise it up, it just adds sparkly highs to the sound. Um, but if you want to get the most neutral sound, you just turn it all the way down, turn on the pedal, and it seems to just add nice overdrive and a bit of compression to your sound without affecting the tone. Okay? So I'm going to show you what I mean. I'll start with the presence all the way down. Uh, gain's a little below half, output is just above half, and I'm going to use the pedal to just add a bit of drive to my bass clean sound, which is this. Okay, turning on the Vintage Tube. Okay, really nice for just, uh, you know, cranking up your amp one notch, so to speak. If you're playing a club or something, you can't quite get your amp into the zone because the club owner's yelling at you or something, uh, you can turn on a pedal like this and just add that bit of grind that's just like turning up your amp another notch or two. And it's nice and transparent. Okay, so I brought the gain up to about half, and the uh, thing just sounds killer. Really good, natural, uh, overdriven kind of Americana rootsy tone I got going here. Uh, here's the sound with no pedal. Okay, turning on the Vintage Tube. nice and natural sounding, very fat sounding. Uh, so when I flip the uh, shape switch, I want to hear uh, what that does. Okay, so you know, it seems to take out some lows and low mids and thin things out a bit. Could be cool depending on the clean sound you've got. If it's kind of boomy, that could be just the ticket. Um, I prefer it for the sound I got going right now in the lower position, so I'm going to leave it there. Let's bring up the presence knob and check that out. Okay, so I got the gain up around six or seven on the pedal now, and it keeps sounding great, even piling the gain on. It sounds really good.
So for the last solo in the song at the beginning of the video, I used the pedal to uh, boost my PT100's dirty channel over the top and get a real nice searing fat lead tone. So I want to show you what that sounds like. Here's the tone of the uh, PT100's channel 2 with no pedal. Okay, turning on the uh, vintage tube. It sounds great. It's real searing. Um, I, I love that. Uh, it's exciting sounding. Um, so I, for this tone, I've got the switch in the upper position because um, notice what happens when I switch it down. So you can hear me kind of toggling on and off there, and it just kind of gets a little bit bloated. Uh, it's not a bad thing. could be the perfect thing for some sounds, but um, I just prefer it in the up position to make the solo sound kind of really cutting when I turn the pedal on. Okay, let's check out the hard tube now. This pedal is all about turning any puny clean tone into a wall of raging stack amplification. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, the kind of tone I had it set up for at the beginning of the video first. Here's my clean sound. Turning on the pedal. Pretty cool. So um, I've got the uh, the mid cut a little bit, and uh, you know you can sweep the mid frequency and find what you want to cut or boost, and it's real powerful. So with the mid cut, you kind of get that you know I don't know like early Metallica thing. That kind of thing, uh, which is fun. But let's say you want to maybe turn it into like a uh, a cool lead tone where you're boosting a la sort of stuck wah. So let's try that. So this pedal obviously excels at real high gain, uh, kind of modern uh, distorted guitar tones, but I wanted to turn the gain way down and see if I could get a, a kind of like a vintage British sort of amp sound out of it. And what I discovered was it does a, uh, a sort of a faux Boston <laughs> sort of guitar sound really well, Boston the band. So check it out. <laughs> really sounds like that tone a lot to me. Alrighty y'all, thanks for checking out my video on the vintage tube overdrive and hard tube overdrive from the Big Joe Stomp Box company. Uh, be sure to check them out on the Big Joe Stomp Box website and uh, hit the subscribe button for my uh, YouTube channel if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Come on back for more uh, gear demos and lessons and stuff like that. And I'll see you very, very soon. Alright, I'm Pete Thorne, take care.